A sex abuse trial in Rockland has just begun. An internationally known rabbi is accused of committing unthinkable crimes against a young boy who sought his counsel. News 12's Tara Rosenblum is at the courthouse in New City. Our request to bring cameras inside the courthouse here were denied, but I was standing just a few feet away from the accused rabbi before he walked inside. He was visibly anxious, carrying a prayer book and surrounded by a group of Hasidic men, and all of them were rocking back and forth and reciting a prayer in Hebrew. There was no sign of his wife or 20 children as respected rabbi turned accused pedophile Moshe Menachem Talbenfeld arrived for day one of his non-jury trial, a trial being closely watched from Rockland all the way to Israel. Just seeing him gave, gave me the creeps. I, I, I could just feel bad for the children that uh, entrusted in, in him. A guilty verdict would lead to the first ever prison sentence for a sex yeah, offender from the secretive all Hasidic village of New Square, where victim advocates say abused children are threatened to stay silent. I myself know of pens of victim, and this has to stop. Rabbi Talbenfeld stands accused of sexually molesting a nine-year-old boy who sought his solace hours after the Twin Towers fell on 9-11. He had him pull his pants down, prosecutors told the judge Wednesday, and bend over a table before penetrating him with his fingers. And that abuse, they claim, lasted until the boy was 13. But in a videotape interrogation played in court today, the rabbi told detectives, quote, I don't do that. And he said he didn't even remember who the alleged victim was. But his accuser will get to tell his side of the story when he takes the stand tomorrow. Tara Rosenblum, News 12. Well, if Rabbi Tabenfeld is found guilty, he faces seven years in prison.